You're gonna sweat. You're gonna sweat hardcore. Get ready. All right, here is your workout. You've got shadow boxing hit today with core intervals. 16 rounds total plus a bonus. Each round repeats twice, so let's get it. Round one, double jab and move. You step into that jab, bang, bang, all the way out away from the body. Bang, bang, nice long jab, pop, pop. This is quick, quick, good. And I want you to move in between those punches. You've got to hustle, you've got to hustle, a little, little hustle to your step. That's it, bang, bang, and move. Each round is going to consist of 30 seconds of a combination, quick combination, followed by a 30 second core interval, in which is about to start in less than three seconds. You've got your first core move. Get ready. Here we go. Plank position, downward facing dog, plank knee drive. Hips up towards the ceiling. As you straighten out your body, you draw those knees in towards your chest. Up to plank. Moving plank here. Wrist directly underneath those shoulders. Feel your core as your knees drive in and your body neutralizes. 10 seconds, you'll get a 10 second break. Keep pushing, that's it. And done, take it up, shake it loose, 10 seconds. So one is done, we are gonna do the same thing again in round two. So we go back to that double jab, ready, set, and let's get it, bang, bang. Here we go, round two. Pop, pop. Now, if you were dissatisfied with the first round, your second round's your chance to prove to yourself that you can throw better jabs here, right? You can move a little bit more. You can move your head. You can move your feet. Extend those hands. Bang, bang. Eye level upstairs, right? Step into the pop, pop. You find that rhythm. As I always say, you find that cadence. Bang, bang. Good. And take it down, down. Down dog, plank knee drive. Core, second round of core. In round three, we will change up your short combination and we will change up your core. But for now, you keep at this. Feel your body strengthening. Feel your core stabilization. Good. That's it. You're doing wonderful. Less than 10 seconds. Make sure that you straighten out that plank before you draw those knees in towards the chest. Alternating right and left. And I hope you're loving it so far. I hope that by the end of this workout, I hope you subscribe, right? I want you to be working out with me every week. All right, here we go, round three. Let's go with the double cross, lead hook, slip. Double cross, lead hook, slip. So cross from the back, take that hook across, and then you move that head to the side. Coming back to the center, double cross, lead hook, slip. Come back center and draw that cross again. 10 seconds. Right now we're, we're planted. We are making sure we pivot. We shift that weight. We keep those elbows nice and high in that hook. Right? We turn those hands over in that cross. And let's go. On to our back. We're following up with an ab exercise. All right. Arms behind the head. Arms up. You're going to pull those knees in and then kick those legs out. As you kick those legs out, those arms are over the chest. You slide them back. Let your lats do the work here. So you're going to feel a nice pull alongside your latissimus dorsi. Those are the back muscles that are along the sides of the back. And then you kick straight out. If it's too much on your lower back, those legs come up a little bit higher. In three, two, and one. Take it up, shake it loose. All right. Nice job. We're working that round four now. We are going to repeat. So let me remind you again. It's a double cross lead hook. You slip and you move your head. Let's get it. Bang, boom, boom. There's a fire here, right? Strong arms. Legs do work. Remember, boxing is about a full body movement. It is not just about throwing those hands out and trying to muscle up the punch. The whole body's involved. Your breath is involved, right? Pop, pop, pop. There is a, a rhythm to this. Good. Cross, cross, hook, slip. All right, take it down. We go back to abdominals. So legs in tabletop position. Arms are straight up over the chest. Legs draw out as the arms draw back, and then you pull it back to the center. You go kick out with those arms. Again, you should feel a pull in your back. If your lower back is lifting, please, please, please listen to your body. You have two options. You can kick those legs out at a higher angle, or you can keep them in tabletop and just focus on the upper body. Either way, your core is engaged. You've got three, you've got two, and awesome. Four rounds done. All right, guys. 
moving on to round five. If you get a chance, go ahead, tell me in the comments if you've liked these first four rounds. All right, all right, let's hit it. Round five, lead uppercut, lead hook into the cross. Now slip both sides. So you land back into that uppercut position. Uh -huh, we're going straight through, bang, bang. Notice how these, these rounds are all about just constant movement, right? You throw, you execute those punches, and you're constantly moving that head or you're moving your feet, right? We don't want to just stand still. We're going to drill this lead uppercut, lead hook, cross, slip, slip. Good, let's take it down. We're in a low plank position, elbows directly underneath those shoulders. We're gonna go into a plank jack and then a shoulder push up. Yup, so the shoulders have to touch those thumbs. Low plank push up, and then we jack out the feet. You could always step or walk those feet out instead of jumping them, up to you, and you could always emit this push up, low plank push up. This is a uh, pretty advanced move, so you're gonna do the best that you can, okay? All right, let's take it up, shake it loose, take it up, nice work. I hope you're loving this so far. I hope you're breathing a little heavy. You're starting to feel a little sweat drip down your face. Let's get to it. Up hook, cross, slip, slip. Up hook, cross, slip, slip. Get it, get it, get it. Bang, bang, boom. Uh-uh. That's it. Feel the shifting of the weight. Constant, constantly be in that like hinge position. You want to always feel grounded without losing your balance, okay? So notice how that upper body is forward as you execute those punches and you slip. You're slipping forward, not back, so you don't lose your balance. You've got three, two, and one. We go back to that exercise again. Low plank position. Low plank push-up jack. Strong, 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 my friends. Get it, get it, get it. That's it. Find your hustle. Every rep counts. And what I love about plank, it is a full body. It's a full body exercise for sure. Everything is strong. Even though you feel your abdominals, you feel your back, and of course that, you feel those push-ups, right? Strong glutes, strong legs too. They count. All right? How are we doing so far? I hope you're doing really great. I hope you're doing really, really great. Let's get it into the next round. We've got round seven. It's a jab cross, jab cross, and just dip your head down. We move the feet in between. I want you to think of throwing for speed. So nice and light throwing for speed and then just constant movement. You dip the head down, you avoid a punch and then you move around and then you throw this again. Again, this is 30 seconds of nonstop movement. All right, I want you to get into that. Get into that uh, mindset of always be moving, always be light. All right, let's take it down. We're gonna go into a butterfly setup and a crunch. So follow me, knees are apart, heels are together. Come up into a full sit-up, and then you're going to go into a crunch where you lift those heels off the ground, and you reach for those inner part of the feet, the toes. Good. Really lift. So come all the way up, rolling the shoulders up. Good. And then you come up into that crunch. Of course, you could always change this move if this is too much for you. Yes, this is advanced. This is intense. You do the best that you can. All right. We are going to duplicate the next round again, so we are going to repeat it again. I hope you are rocking. All right, let's get it again. Let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. We dip. We move the head. We move the feet. All right, so I remember taking a, uh, one time, years, years, years ago, I was taking a, uh, a boxing class, and, and my coach would always be like, all right, Move your head, move your feet, move your head, move your feet, move your head, move your feet. That's it. So I feel like this is what I'm telling you right now. In your head, I want you to think. Move your head, move your feet. You throw punches, you move your head, you move your feet. And you hear that in your ear. Punch, 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 and then move your head, move your feet. Good. Nice. Let's take it to the ground. Butterfly sit up into the butterfly crunch. We have very minimal rest. We go 30 and 30 in 10 seconds, okay? I want you to constantly be moving here. Minimal rest. You, your output should be large. Output large. Large volume. Lots of volume. I really want you to burn as many calories as you can. I want you to get as much movement as you can in this. All right? Here we go in three, two, one. Minimal rest. Ten seconds to rest. We move on to another combo and then another core exercise. All right, let's go. Round nine, double rear uppercut into a double cross. But here's the deal. I want you to travel it. It's three punches from the back, bang, boom. But I want you to travel it up, so you gotta use feet. 
huh? And think at last, cross is power, okay? So you go up, you attack, you go up, you attack, you go bang. You're on the offense, right? Think about just getting your opponent to the ropes, right? Bang, bang, bang. Intimidation here. All right. This I love as part of your core exercise. So you're going to come up to the side. This is called the clamshell. This is obliques, but most importantly, this is glutes, your gluteus medius. So you want strong lower body, right? Always have to have a strong lower body in boxing. And this is a perfect way to get the booty, if that's what you're looking for, but really to have a strong lower body so you create power in your punches. All right, five more seconds, clamshell. Good. Take it up, shake the glutes, and you guessed it. We repeat that double uppercut cross, traveling it up into clamshell on the other side, okay? Let's go, round 10. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bang! Come back. Very offensive. You're aggressive here. You're attacking here. You call the shots here, boss. You call the shots. Ah, uh, that's it. Come on, champ. Bang, bang, boom. That's it. No one's intimidating you. You are doing the intimidating. You are on the attack. Your opponent is fearing you right now. Bang, and it's all power with that backhand. Take it down to the ground. Back to clamshell, but just remember it's the other side. Knees are bent. We lift the bottom hip. As we do that, we lift the knee, the top knee away from the bottom. And you're going to peel your hips away from the ground. So you're getting your obliques. You're squeezing top gluteus medius and bottom gluteus medius. The lower knee is pushing off against that ground, right? So you're elevating those hips. And then you're separating the top knee from the bottom knee. Three, two, one. Guys, this is my favorite exercise like ever. I feel my booty. I hope you feel yours. All right, you want a badenka dank? You do this exercise. You want power in your legs? You do that exercise. All right, now, I love this one. This is called the counter jab with the cross. We're going both sides. So you counter jab. You counter jab and you throw your feet out at the same time. This is very advanced. If this is too much, just go one, two, one, two. Now notice my second counter jab as I step left, because I am orthodox, is an up jab. This is advanced. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Just move side to side. It's one, two, one, two, the cross meets back in the middle. All right, let's go into our uh, next core exercise. Legs are up, we go with windmill. Legs are straight, you go out to the side. And then you lift the hips for a reverse crunch. Arms are out in T position for the uh, the most advanced version. Now, if this is too much, just bend your knees instead. I'd rather have those arms out and do this in your bent knee position than have your hands underneath your butt. All right, take it up. Let's go back. Counter jab to the cross. You step as you jab at the same time. And then you step your feet back into position when you cross. So that's it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. When I go towards my lead hand and I step out towards my lead hand, I turn this into something called the up jab, which is in between the jab and the uppercut. Boom, boom. Too much for you, too advanced for you. Go back to the one, two, one, two. There's nothing wrong with going back to the basics. If you're going to step, you go back, you plant your feet, you go back. You plant your feet, you go back. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. Take it back down to the reverse crunch with the windmill like you're straight up. <clears throat> Lower back engaged, right? They're still glued to the ground. Then you raise those hips up for a reverse crunch. Legs out. Notice how my arms are out. They're away from under my butt. I'm really using everything I have to control my core without manipulation. And if it's too much, you lower the range of motion or you bend those knees. Three, two, one. Ooh, you, ooh, you. How you doing? Are you sweating yet? Tell me in the comments. Is there a favorite combo that you did? All right, let's get it. We're gonna go double lead uppercut, double rear uppercut. Yeah, take this to the body. Boom, 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 and then just move in between. Huh, huh. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Good. Top, 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 top. Think body. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Now I've noticed I've changed in between. I'm learning to pivot now. I'm pivoting. Bang, bang, boom, boom. I'm pivoting. Bang, bang, boom, boom. I'm pivoting. 
good. Try to get those pivots in there. All right, this one's gonna be a tough one, but we can do this. Hold the bottom of a push-up, jack out your feet, and then press up again to plank. Hold the bottom of a push-up, jack, and then press up to plank. Too much for you, just give me regular push-ups. Kneeling push-ups are just fine. Boom, good, now this is advanced. I want you to see if you can lower your chest down, a few inches off the ground, jack out your feet. If you're intimidated by this move, I just want you to try one or two. All right, that's it. You try one or two, you do your best that you can, and you go back to what you know. The only way you get better at something is if you just try, you throw yourself into the fire. All right, double lead, double rear uppercut, pivot. Double lead, I'm pivoting forward now, this is advanced. Boom, boom, I know I say advanced a million times in this workout, but I, I really want you to try to work some fun things, okay? This is footwork. You're planting the front foot, right? And you're cutting angles with this pivoting. That's the point, you're cutting angles. I'm teaching you how to cut angles right now. Good, all right, shake it loose, we're going back down. We're building on our strength, okay? Upper body strength and absolute core strength. Full body, of course, is involved here because you're jacking out those legs. You do the best that you can, you throw yourself into the fire. You fall flat on your face, who the hell cares? You get yourself back up. Not everything is a win, not in boxing, right? You lose a few times. The most important thing is that you get back up to win. All right, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Check it out, champs. You got two rounds left with me. Final round, and of course, you got a bonus. I hope you are sweating. Let me know in the comments before, after, during the workout. I don't care. Just let me know. Thumbs up. You know the deal. All right. Cross, roll, cross, lead hook. Hook, roll, hook, cross. So, let's do it again. Cross, roll to the cross. Hook, hook, roll, hook, cross. Two, roll, two, three. Three, roll, three, two. And you're constantly alternating. Bang, bang. Teaching you now. So we're planting our feet. We're pivoting, right? We're, I mean, we're shifting our weight, right? We're using those hips to execute the punches. And then we roll into the punches. We punch, defend, punch, punch. All right, rock to sit, kick out. Coming up to our shoulders. Rock to sit, hail that landing, kick it out. Rock to sit, stick that landing, out to in. If anything I want you to practice here is practice this rock to sit and really sticking that landing where you're not falling but you're controlling that sitting of, of the tailbone. The kick out is sort of is that extra sauce, okay? That extra abdominal work. All right, guess what? Last rounds and then we've got a crazy bonus that I don't want you to stop here, right? Promise me you won't? All right, let's get it. Here we go. Now we're going lead, hook, roll, lead, hook, cross, and then we alternate cross, roll, cross, lead, hook. Idea, one punch, under punches, throw two punches. If again too much, give me a cross hook, hook, cross. As long as you're moving, that's, what's, that's what matters the most, right? Don't have to be perfect, you just have to progress. All right, here we go. Final core, and then it is show time. We go into that kick out as, we, as soon as we rock to sit. And like I repeated uh, myself before, you know, for me, the rock to sit is the most important part because it's the learning of the control. That control that you're learning in the rock to sit can translate. You know, it can translate into you getting body shot. That control, that that tightness, and the bracing of the core is what matters. All right, take it off. Let's get crazy. Let's go. Ten straight punches. Into ten shoe shots and uppercuts. Into ten hooks. And guess what? You know your girl loves that burpee. We're going to do this a shit ton of times. So let's go. Ten straight punches, ten uppercuts, one burpee. Sorry for the poopy mouth. Sorry for the poopy mouth. But you know, it's boxing. There's some vulgarity in boxing, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. I hope you are having fun and you are working out and you are just huffing and puffing and sweating and feeling the exhilaration of it all. Let's go. You are not done. You keep working until that bell rings. There's no timer, so you're like, what the hell? When am I going to finish? Well, you're going to finish when that bell rings. That's when you're going to finish. Let's go. This is a total of a 20-minute workout. Can you work till the end? 
Can you work till the end? Let's see. Let's see what you got. It's a little over than 20 minutes, actually. I lied to you. 20 minutes and change. Come on. Yes. 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 How many times are we doing this? It's like 10 times. We got two more left. We're not stopping until that bell rings. If you're at repetition eight, repetition six, it doesn't matter. I'm doing a total of 10 of these 10 straight punches, 10 uppercuts, 10 hooks, and a burpee. All right, 10 total. You do not stop until that bell rings. You hear me? This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it, champ. And uh, did it. You did it, champ. Way to go. I'll see you next time. Hell yeah, you did. Before I let you go, you know the spiel. Subscribe. Hit that notification. Let's help each other out by growing this community and sharing this workout with others. Telling me if you love the workout or if there's anything that I missed that you want to work more on. Let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. All right. I'll see you next time. Way to go.